Well, what's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys another short video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys three sick Halloween outfits using clothing glitches. So the outfits that you guys see in the thumbnail will be the outfits I'm gonna show you how to make. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the clothing glitches. So for the first outfit, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys on how to make this outfit. For this outfit first, you will wanna go ahead and get the tan joggers. So whenever you guys, uh, you guys will want to go ahead and go to a clothing store that you guys know that you guys will spawn in front of whenever you guys do find a new session. So I recommend this clothing store because whenever you do find a new session, you'll spawn right in front of it. If you guys are right in front of the clothing store like I am right here. So whenever you are in front of a clothing store, go ahead and just join a CEO. After you do join a CEO, pull up your interaction menu again, click on secure serve CEO. Scroll down to management, scroll down to style, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and scroll to the warlord on your CEO style. And whenever you guys do scroll to the warlord, now you're just gonna wanna go ahead and just find a new session until you do spawn in with the outfit you guys had on before the warlord. So before I did equip the warlord, you guys saw that I did have on another tan joggers outfit with the vest and then the mask and the bulletproof helmet. So that's the outfit that I should spawn in with whenever I do find a new session. But this could take multiple tries. You guys won't get it on the first try. It could take up to maybe six tries. If it does take up more than six tries, go ahead and just leave your CEO and then rejoin it and try to do the glitch again. But yeah, just go ahead and just find a new session until you spawn in with the outfit you had on before the Warlord outfit. When you spot, whenever you spawn back in front of the clothing store, just go ahead and run back inside the clothing store as fast as you can and go to the front counter. Whenever you do go to the front counter, just go ahead and sit at the suburban or the clothing style menu just like this and just wait until it kicks you out just like it did right here. And whenever it does kick you out, you guys will be wearing the Warlord outfit. After you are wearing the Warlord outfit, go ahead and just pull up your uh, interaction menu and just leave your CEO. After you retired your CEO, now we can go ahead and work on the outfit, the tan joggers outfit. For this outfit, you should be wearing the tan joggers, so just go over here and head to your tops. Whenever you do get to your tops, scroll down to vest, which is on slot 47, go ahead and click on vest, and just buy the pale brown vest, which is on slot 23. After you do buy the pale brown vest, go ahead and back out, scroll down to vest shirts, which is on slot 48, and go ahead and buy the white band vest shirt which is on slot 10. After you do have the tops, you can now back out and just head over here to the shoes. Whenever you do get, get to the shoes, scroll down to sports shoes, which is on slot 9, click on sports shoes, and go ahead and buy the all white sports shoes, which is on slot 28. Now that you have the shoes, you can back out and head over here to the accessories. Once you are here at the accessories, just scroll down to gloves, click on gloves, and look for the white cotton gloves and go ahead and equip the white cotton gloves, which is on slot 53. After you have your accessories, you can now back out and for this outfit, just head over here to the hats, scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 19 and just equip the tan bulletproof. After you did equip the tan bulletproof, you will now wanna go ahead and just head to the mask store for this outfit. Whenever you do get to the mask store, you're just gonna wanna walk over here to the mask Go ahead and scroll down to Monsters, which is on slot 17, and you're going to be looking for the Pale Stitch Taki, which is on slot 96. Just letting you guys know, this mask will disappear after the Halloween update is over. But yeah, so after you did buy the mask for this outfit, you can now just go ahead and back out, and you're going to want to go ahead and do the telescope glitch so then we can combine the mask and helmet. When you are near a telescope, you should only be wearing the mask. And whenever you are near the telescope, just do the telescope glitch. So you're going to want to go and run, hit right on the D-pad. You should see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. Just pull up your interaction menu, scroll down, to, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and scroll down to your helmets and just scroll through your helmets until you do find the tan bulletproof. And whenever you find the tan bulletproof, you can walk away from the telescope and you should see that the mask does combine with the outfit. And this is what your outfit will look like. And now the final thing we're going to work on is the parachute. So now you're just going to want to go ahead and just head to the gun store. For the parachute, whenever you do get to the gun store, you're going to want to go ahead and just go up to the front counter inside the gun store and scroll up all the way to the left where the parachute's at. Go ahead and click on the parachute. Scroll down to the parachute bag. Click on parachute bag. And scroll down to tan combat shoot bag, which is on slot 6. And just go ahead and equip the tan combat shoot bag. After you did equip the tan com combat shoot bag, go ahead and back out. Your parachute will disappear. Just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, 
scroll down to style, scroll down to parachute, and on your parachute, just go ahead and equip it on your character just like this, and you should have the tan combat shoot bag. After that, this is what your outfit will look like, and now you can just go ahead, save this outfit over here on whichever slot that you guys want, and now we're just going to go ahead and work on the second outfit. Whenever you do get back to the clothing store, this will be the second outfit I'm going to show you how to make. So for this outfit, you're going to want to head over here to your tops again. Whenever you are here at the tops, go ahead and scroll down to designer t-shirts, which is going to be right here on slot 29. So go ahead and click on designer t-shirts and you're going to be looking for the skeleton or the VDG skeleton t-shirt, which is going to be right here on slot 13. So go ahead and equip the VDG or if you guys don't own the VDG skeleton t-shirt, just go ahead and buy the, t the skeleton t-shirt. After you did buy the skeleton t-shirt, go ahead and back out. Scroll up until you find sweaters, which should be right here on, on slot 39. So go ahead and click on sweaters. And you're going to be looking for the black sweater, which is on slot 5. And go ahead and equip that. So you should have both of the shirts. But after you do have the black sweater uh, equipped on your character, go ahead and back out. And just walk over here to the pants. Whenever you do get to the pants, just click on jeans, which is on slot one, and look for the midnight camo fitted, which is on slot 41, and just equip those pants on your character. After you have the pants, you can back out and head over here to the accessories. Whenever you are here at the accessories, scroll down to gloves, and just look for the black woolen gloves, which is on slot 58. You should have your accessories, and now you can just head over here to the shoes. Whenever you do get to the shoes, scroll down to skate shoes, which is on slot 3, and go ahead and buy the all black skate shoes, which is on slot 16. Now that you do have the shoes, you can now back out and head over here to the hats. Whenever you do get to the hats, go ahead and scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 19, and go ahead and just equip the black bulletproof. And after you guys did that, we're going to go ahead and do the mask later, but so now we're just going to go ahead and transfer over the skeleton over to the sweater. So just head to your apartment and I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to my apartment. Whenever you do get to your apartment, this is what your outfit should look like. So just go ahead and go to your changing clothes section or like your closet. And whenever you are here inside the closet, go ahead and scroll down to tops, click on tops, look for designer t-shirts. And whenever you do find designer t-shirts, just go ahead and select designer t-shirts and you're gonna be looking for the VDG skeleton t-shirt. So don't select the VDG skeleton t-shirt, just hover over the shirt. After you are hovering over the shirt, you're now going to want to go ahead and just join a friend or you guys can join one of your crew members. So just go ahead and hit the GTA pause menu and you can go to your friends and you're just going to want to join one of your friends or if you guys don't have any of your friends online, just go ahead and scroll to online, go to crews and you can join any any of your crew members or you can join one of your friend crew members but after you find someone that you guys can join just go go ahead and just join their game and whenever you do load into into their session then you guys should see that you guys have the skeleton over to the sweater so whenever i did uh join my friend i spawned outside for some reason but if you guys spawn inside your apartment that's fine as long as the skeleton did transfer over to the sweater so this is what it'll look like whenever the skeleton transfers over to the sweater and now you're just going to want to go ahead and just head to the mask store for this outfit once you do get to the mask store just walk over here to the mask whenever you are here scroll down to monsters which is on slot 17 and you're just going to be looking for the black sack slasher, which is on slot 53. So just go and equip this mask. After you guys did equip this mask, you can go ahead and back out. You should already have the black bulletproof helmet. And now we're just gonna go into the telescope glitch so then we can combine the mask and helmet. When you are near a telescope, either at your apartment or on the pier, go into the telescope glitch. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and run, hit right on the D-pad. You will see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you do find the black bulletproof. And whenever you find the black bulletproof helmet, just walk away from the telescope, and you should see that the mask does combine with the helmet. Whenever it does combine with the helmet, that's basically it for this outfit. So now you can just go ahead, go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot that you guys want, and now we're going to go ahead and work on the final outfit. Okay guys, this will be the final outfit I'm going to show you how to make. So for this outfit, just head over here to your tops. Whenever you do get to your tops, go ahead and scroll down to vest, 
which is on slot 47, click on vest, and you're just gonna be equipping the black vest, which is on slot 38. After you, after you did equip the black vest, go ahead and back out, scroll down to vest shirts, which is on slot 48, and you're gonna be looking for the white band of vest shirt, which is on slot 10, and just go ahead and equip that on your character. After you did equip that on your character, you can now back out of the tops and head over here to your pants. Whenever you do get to the pants, you're just gonna wanna scroll down to suit pants, which is on slot six, and buy the black slim fit, which is on slot 32. And after you do have the pants, head over here to the accessories. Whenever you do get to the accessories, scroll down to ties, go ahead and click on ties, and you're just gonna be looking for the white bow tie, which is on slot 68, and go ahead and equip that on your character. After you have the, after you have the white bow tie, go ahead and back out of the ties, Scroll down to gloves, click on gloves, and look for the white cotton gloves, which is on slot 53, and go ahead and eat those on your character. And now you should have your accessories. After you have the accessories, walk over here to the shoes. When you are here at the shoes, scroll down to sport shoes, which is on slot 9, and look for the all white sport shoes, which is on slot 28, and just equip those shoes on your character. And after you did equip those shoes, you can now just go ahead and if your character has any head accessories, go ahead and take that off your character. And this is what your outfit should look like so far. This whole outfit with the white bow tie, the white gloves, the white shoes, the suit pants, the vest, everything. After your outfit looks like this, just go ahead, go up to the front counter. You're gonna wanna go ahead and just save this outfit on slot one or slot 20. And after you did save the outfit, you can now go ahead and back out. And on the clothing, scroll down to heist coveralls which is right here on slot 13. So go ahead and click on heist coveralls and scroll down to the bottom from slot nine through slot 12 and go ahead and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do equip one of these outfits, you're now just gonna wanna go ahead, head to the pier so we can now do the telescope glitch. When you are at the telescope, just go into the telescope glitch. So you're just gonna wanna go and run, hit right on the D-pad. You will see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. So go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, Go ahead and scroll down to your outfits and go ahead and select the outfit you just saved at the clothing store. After you did select that outfit, go ahead and walk away from the telescope and you should see that the, that the mask does combine with the outfit. And now you're just gonna wanna go ahead and just head to the gun store for this outfit. Once you're at the gun store, just walk over here to the clothing section, which is on the right side inside the gun store. And you're just gonna wanna go ahead and save this outfit on slot one or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. After you do save it on one of those slots, you're now just going to want to go and start up the job that's called a titan of a job. So go ahead and hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, play job, rockstar created, scroll down to missions, look for the job that's called a titan of a job, and start up that job. When you do load into the titan of a job mission, this is what your outfit will look like so far. So just go ahead and go back inside the gun store and you're just gonna wanna save this outfit again on slot one or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. And once you did save the outfit, you can now back into the clothing or the tops and just pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. After you do load back into a public session, just go ahead and go back inside the gun store. Whenever you go back inside the gun store, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and save this outfit again on slot one or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. After you did save the outfit, you can now go ahead and back out, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and on your gear, scroll one time to the left to put on the LCD earpiece, and it'll take off the toxic mask, and you guys won't lose the white bow tie. And then go ahead and scroll one time to the right back to none, and you guys are able to still keep the white bow tie. So now for this outfit, you will wanna go ahead and just save that this outfit again, just in case. So we can go ahead and buy the black bulletproof helmet for the people that don't have it. So go ahead and just save your outfit again. And now after you did save your outfit, you guys will wanna go ahead and just head to the clothing store. So we can go ahead and buy the black bulletproof helmet if you guys don't own it already. Whenever you do get to the clothing store, before we do select the helmet, if you guys didn't save the outfit, just like I said earlier at the gun store, go ahead and save the outfit now before you guys do equip the helmet. After you did save the outfit, just walk over here to the hats, go ahead and scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 19, and go ahead and equip the black bulletproof. And you guys can see, this is the reason why I told you guys to save the outfit, because whenever you do equip the black bulletproof, the, the white bow tie will disappear, but I'm gonna show you guys how to get it back. 
So you're gonna wanna go ahead and just head to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch. When you are near a telescope on the pier, you guys should be wearing the black bulletproof helmet. After you are wearing the bulletproof helmet, go into the telescope glitch. So you're gonna wanna go and run, hit right on the D-pad. You should see that your helmet does disappear. So just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll into style, scroll down to your outfit, and go ahead and select the outfit you just saved either at the gun store or clothing store with the white bow tie. So after you do equip that outfit, you should see that the white bow tie, the, the white bow tie does appear on your outfit. Now just go ahead and walk away from the telescope and you should see that the helmet does combine with the outfit. And now after you did, uh, after you did uh, put on the bulletproof helmet with the outfit, you're now just gonna wanna go ahead and head to the barber shop so I can show you guys the mask or the face paint that I'm using for this outfit. When you do get to the barber shop, you're gonna wanna go ahead and just go get a makeover. Whenever you are here, just uh, go ahead and hit on face paints. And whenever you do click on face paints, uh, which is right here, you're gonna wanna look for the Wicked Skull, which is on slot 21. After you do uh, select the Wicked Skull, you can now go ahead and back out. If you guys wanna copy my contacts, just go ahead and scroll up to contacts and select the demon, which is on slot 28, and it'll be all these, it'll be the all red eyes, just like this. After you have that, you can now go ahead and back out and you're just gonna wanna go ahead and head to the tattoo shop so we can put on the skull uh, tattoo with this face paint. When you get to the tattoo shop, just go ahead and just go to the tattoos, scroll down to head, click on head, and you're gonna wanna scroll down to the bottom, which is gonna be the skull on slot 50 and go ahead and just equip the skull tattoo. So just letting you guys know, you guys will need 500 headshots on online players. And after you guys did get the 500 headshots on the online players, then you will be able to equip the skull tattoo. And this is what your face will look like after you guys get everything done. After that, that's basically it for this outfit. So that's the only reason I made this a Halloween outfit is just for the face paint. Because you guys can only get these uh, the type of face paint that I have for the Halloween update. But after that, you can now just go ahead, go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot that you guys want. And that's basically it for these outfits. So I hope you guys did enjoy these outfits. Hope you guys have a good Halloween. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.